Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. It is about 8.30 in the morning. It is a beautiful day in Huntington Beach, and today we're going to try out the latest features of my Tesla. It downloaded version 10.0 last night. I have uh, enhanced autopilot, so it can now summon from 200 feet away in a parking lot by itself. It's gonna drive itself. This is so cool. I'm so excited about this. I've been waiting for this feature for so long. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get into it and let's give it a shot and try it out. I'm interested to see what's gonna happen next. All right, talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so the car's parked back there. We're gonna summon it. You guys are coming along. Okay, let's try this one more time. summon here and we're gonna hold the camera. It's saying it can only summon it to where the X is. So we have to get closer. Getting closer. And closer. I'm trying to stay in the shade. Looks like we are in the circle. Okay, we can summon. Let's go. Pulling out. I think it's gonna drive all over the parking lot. It does not respect parking signs or parking lines at all. It's coming straight for me. <laughs> I'm gonna get run over by this car. <laughs> Okay, what well, proof is in the... Where are you going? <laughs> it drove right by me. Uh, stop! Okay. <laughs> it says summon complete. It thinks it's right next to me. It is pretty close. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Alright, let's go see. <sighs> Nice park job there, Tesla. <laughs> Ta da! Empty car. Ugh, drove itself. Okay. I mean, I mean, that's the, pretty much the coolest feature I have ever seen in a car. All right, so I put the car in this parking space behind me right here. And there's a car on either side. And um, there's also this, this barrier in front of it. So the car has to back out uh, in order to come to me, and it has to maneuver around things. So the radius is still pretty small that it can actually work on, so I'm using the come to me button. The car is definitely backing out rapidly. Job backing out.
decide where to go. That's just funny. Is gonna hit the curb? Nope. Turning. Something complete. <laughs> it's in the middle of the street. That's too funny. <laughs> okay, open system again. <laughs> Okay, so that worked really quite well. I'm very impressed with how that whole thing went down. I tried three, four different times, and it came to me each time. Once it was on the wrong side of the street, once it was in the correct kind of spot, and once it kind of blocked traffic as it ended up just kind of sitting right in front of me. But it did it each time, so it's, it's pretty gosh darn impressive. I'm gonna give it a shot with me in the car, and I'm gonna try and give you guys the look of what it looks like from inside. So let's give that a try. Okay, so what do we have? We have well, at the top there it says come to me and over there is the summon. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the summon. There's a button at the top of the car, which is going to be the location. I'm gonna click that and now this is the go to target feature. Okay, the car's backing up by itself. It stopped, it's changing direction. Very interesting. And I cancelled that. That got a little close to that car. Not too happy with that performance. Alright, let's go ahead and put it in reverse. I just wanted to see what it looks like from in the car. Really enjoying the way it's doing that. Okay, let's try it from over here. We're gonna make it as simple as possible just to see how the car reacts. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a summon. Select that. I think it's having trouble because my GPS is moving around. Okay, let's see if we can have it go to target. Okay, it is driving. And... It is trying to hit that car again. Really wants to bang into that car. Yeah, it got confused. Okay. Alright, so summoning while in the car, kind of confused it because the GPS signal from my phone is inside the car. Let's see if we do one more try and see if we can just get it to drive up the street here. Um, all in all, this is a, a remarkable feature. I'm not that confident in it yet, but I'm going to have to try it out a few more times to see what it does. Alright, let's, let's give it one more try. Alright, here we go. Five miles per hour and looks like it's almost where it wanted to go and it's a summon complete interesting so there you have it uh, summon from within the car So um, I just finished the test and we did about four or five different summons in different conditions, including parked between two cars. Uh, did pretty good. I tried the come to me button and that was the last test I just did. It did come to me. It stopped a little bit ahead. Uh, I think I got a little confused there um, and just kind of stopped, which is fine. Uh, it got pretty close to me. Um, it did not respect the markings on the parking lot too much. So it kind of just drove through wherever it wanted to. 
the markings here are not that great, so I could imagine the car might not have spotted them all. But it did avoid all the other cars. It didn't. It didn't have any issues driving around. So it's it's pretty cool. I mean, come on! I am totally stoked. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. My car just came to me from like 200 feet away. I don't know anyone else that can do that, that or, or any other car company that does that. I mean, if you're out there, come on, let me know. I want to see that. That is just an insane thing to actually get to enjoy. Anyway, it is nine o'clock and I gotta go to work. I can't wait to put this out. This is so cool. All right, talk to you guys soon. Hey, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell if you wanna be notified about any future video uploads.